So they were f shooting over the heads of the children, but given that the children were on a sort of a mound, a sort of a you know twelve foot mound of rubble, um, it was dangerous for them. A lot of the children ran, but there were two or three children who remained on the mound of rubble, and Tom, being Tom automatically, I gather, reached out for one of the children, lifted um, him off the mound, and then went back for the other two children. It was when he turned to go back that um, I gather he was hit by one of the bullets. Um, and we're just trying to work out from which tower he was probably shot. <laughs> I mean, Tom was first and foremost humanitarian. He wasn't necessarily politically minded, although he was very interested in working out, you know, in developing his interest in politics. You know, that was happening at the same time. But first and foremost, he'd come out here to help. And that was Tom. And I can just imagine him just reaching out to children. He's got a younger brother, Freddie, and he was always very kind and very protective with Freddie. And it would have been... It's so, it's so natural for Tom just to reach out for these two children and see them to safety. I mean, that is absolutely Tom. It's a very poor place. Life looks extremely hard. I don't know how they live hearing gunshots daily. They have got used to it. Have they got used to it? Surely they haven't got used to it. It's become a way of life. That's just unacceptable, absolutely unacceptable way to live life. And I can imagine Tom thinking exactly the same, only more strongly. Thank <laughs> you. 